Annyeonghaseyo. This is Mark Peterson with the Frog outside the Well Research Center. And here is my good friend, Kemin Kim, who is a, a software engineer at Microsoft. And he has a marvelous way of understanding Hangul. Uh, Temin, tell me about it. What have you fi- What have you figured out? Yes, thank you for kind introductions. Uh, today is uh, Hangul Day in Korea, and uh, obviously the the Kim Sejong the Great invented Hangul. I come up with uh, the authentic uh, Hangul acquisition method, the way that uh, Hangul invented designed the letter. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm Temin Kim, who used the uh, handle for my hall. I'm a software engineer at uh, Microsoft, working on the uh, Hololens for mixed reality. Uh, instead of my technical word, watch the short video introducing the Hololens. That's very good. Fiber. And the optics. Fiber optics, yeah, fiber optics. Moving the holographic display. So this is virtual reality, huh? Yeah. So this is the home factor. So that's what you're working on at Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nevertheless, Hangul is the most exciting project in my life because uh, my definition of Hangul is intelligence. I have uh, another nickname, uh, Hangul Dongja, meaning the Hangul Evangelist. Here is the highlight on the YTN news that uh, covered my Hangul event in uh, one of the biggest international conference on artificial intelligence in 2019. And what is the first impression of Pango to you? Okay, let's think about the Hangul design. So what is the simplistic geometric, simplistic geometric object on paper? Dot and lines. Second simplest geometric object is basic shape, which includes the circle, triangle, and square. Well, I think the connection between the articulation and the pronunciation is really nice. Like you can imagine how the mouth should be, and then you can imagine the sound. So I think it was kind of nice. If you, especially if you have like engineering background, you like to see patterns and rules and how the things stick together. And this, uh, how was it, Hangul wing? A kind of approach shows this in a very uh, systematic way. So here are some Hangul videos that I've created. Uh, let's watch the teaser first. If intelligent light came to the planet, how could you communicate, even in writing? There are only 30 writing systems to represent over 7,000 languages open in the world. Among all writing systems, Hangul must be prominent because of its uh, geometry appearance. Hangul letters are grouped to represent the simple syllable. Vowel letters are simple combinations of the top and line. Concerning letters are made of basic shape, including circle, triangle, and square. 
are not any patterns in the table or stay tuned for the next episode. The second one shows the complete logic of Hangul letters. All Hangul letters are listed in the consonant and vowel tables. If you see any patterns to reproduce the tables, you can stop here. A red dot or lines gives you a better hint. Let's start from the scratch in the word. For vowels, we have a dot, horizontal line, and vertical line. There are combinations, placing a dot close to the line, up and down, and left and right. We can double the number of letters by adding a vertical line to the base letters. We can triple the number of letters by adding a dot next to the existing one. For consonant, we have a basic shapes, including a circle, triangle, and square, together with an L shape and vertical line at the top. We can derive the second row by adding a horizontal line to the base letters. Likewise, we can get the third row. Hangul Ling puts everything together. There are little tweaks for square derivative. You are already halfway through to master Hangul if you can recognize and draw this logical letter by heart. The remaining thing is to build a letter sound mapping, which is completely based on the science in your mouth. The last one shows the complete science of Hangul consonant on top of their complete logic. Fifteen consonant letters are listed in a 3 by 5 matrix. Consider a five articulators in the mouth that open the oral tract. They are outlined by basic shapes. The throat produces the three sound sources with the three different airflows. The five articulators with the three airflows compose of 15 opening sounds as in the 3 by 5 matrix. The five articulators include the lips, the teeth, tongue tip, tongue back, and throat. They are aligned by the square, triangle, L-shape, vertical line, and circle, respectively. The lip can open the oral tract and produce the three lip opening sounds. A square align the closed lips. If you blow the air softly and open the mouth by the lips, then a soft sound, ma, is produced and the candle in front of the mouth is still. If we add a more airflow and stop in the middle, a stopping sound, ba, is produced and the candle is waving. A line in red is added to represent a stronger airflow on top of the square. With the maximum airflow, a candle blowing sound p, is produced and the candle is blown out. Two lines in red are added to represent the strongest airflow on top of the square. Note that the square derivatives are tweaked a little. Let's practice the three lippy sound in a row. M, p, p. The teeth can open the oral tract with the tongue tip and produce a 3 2 sound. A triangle or angle outline the sharp teeth. The 3 2 sounds are S, J, CH. Tongue tip can open the oral tract and produce the 3 tongue tip sounds. The L shape outline the erect tongue tip. The 3 tongue tip sounds are NA, DA, TA. The tongue back can open the oral tract and produce the 3 tongue back sound. The vertical line outlines the tongue back raised. The three tongue back sounds are nya, ga, ka. The throat produces the three sound sources with the three different airflows. The circle outlines the round throat. The three throaty sounds are u, ga, ka. We will practice the 15 opening sounds column wise in the table. Let's practice the opening sounds row wise to cross check their articulations. The softer sounds in the first rows are ma, sa, na, nya, u. The stopping sound in the second row are ba, ja, da, ga, ga. The candle blowing sounds in the third row are pa, cha, ta, ka, ka. In the mouth, Five opening articulators with the three different airflow produce the 15 opening sounds in a 3x5 matrix.
Note that a syllable is the minimal phonetic unit of a word that consists of an opening sound, lasting sound, and closing sound. The closing sounds are produced simply by reverse articulation of the opening sounds. The lasting sounds or connecting vowel have another story of a complete logic and science in the mouth. Here are uh, my books titled Hangul that explain the complete logic and science behind the Hangul. As the book Hunmin Jeongum uh, explained the writing system Hunmin Jeongum, my book Hangul explained the writing system Hangul. The left one is in English, subtitled The Teaching Sound, available at uh, Amazon. The right one is in Korean, subtitled The Sorye Garachim, available in Korea. You know the Korean drama Skid Game went viral all over the world. This was the game that uh, I used to play with friends on the playground. Uh, it sparked me that I was exposed to Hangul geometry from early days. The drama took the basic shape as a logo for Skid Game. You will see the logo many different ways in my video, horizontal, vertical, or reverse. Hangul will reform the public education completely, regardless of language. Everybody can pick up the Hangul in a couple of hours so that uh, it can be used as a general phonetic alphabet worldwide. By educational impact of Hangul, kids can learn the creative and systematic thinking from elementary school or kindergarten. Hangul itself touched the logic and science as well as the philosophy altogether. Based on these essential lessons, kids can actively pursue their academic or artistic activities and finally step up to the level of King Sejong the Great. All smart people in the world are into the fourth industrial revolutions defined by the artificial intelligence or machine learning, uh, while I'm aiming further at the human revolution. Uh, this is the Hangul Dongja, Kim Tae-min. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's good. That's good.